Hello, everybody. So, today I'm going to be doing a video on a dun, 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 CVS haul. So, I have been watching an absolute ton of dupe videos, and that's kind of what inspired me to go out to my drugstore. I don't typically, um, I don't, I haven't normally in the past bought a lot of drugstore um, ish cosmetics because I just love the boutique or higher end stuff. But I have been seeing such amazing dupes. I'm sorry, crap in my eye. Cute. That I thought that I would go out and see what I could find for myself. So I'm going to tell you what inspired me to purchase these items, what they are supposed to be a dupe for. I'll do a swatchy. We'll open them together. I haven't even opened them yet. I waited for you. And I'll tell you how much they cost me, what I saved, because all this shit was on sale today. It was ridiculous. And, um... Yeah, then uh, let's get started. So I did go to CVS and bought all this crap. So you can buy all of this at your local CVS. So the first thing I bought that I've been wanting to buy is I've really been wanting to buy nicer brushes because I have done the whole purchase a giant set from BH Cosmetics. I have brushes. I don't really have to buy more except that I would really like to have some more precise better feeling on my skin, less streaky, just some better quality brushes that are going to work a little bit better. So the first thing I got is Makeup Academy Professional Brushes. I got this minis. And so the first one that I got is the BBCC Cream Brush. They're calling it that. Basically what it is is a duo fiber stippling brush. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that feels nice. Like in the hand. It's got a good weight. And I like the shape of it. This is kind of um, where it's almost rubberized on the outside. It's not totally like that, but it's close. It feels nice in my hand. That's good. I like that this part's metal. Um, as you can see, it is a little bit more tightly packed. It's got a dome shape on top. And that nice duo fiber bristle. So we're getting more tightly packed black bristles down here mixed in with the white softer brushes. This is a thin a synth this is a synthetic brush. Um and this is supposed to be very good for not just BB creams and CC creams, which is what's all the rage now, so that's what they're calling it, but this has always been a great brush for putting on foundation, period. So that's number one. These were originally $18. However, right now, they're buy one, get one free. That's right. So this one was originally $18. I paid $18 for it. The next one that I got is the powder brush. This one is originally $18. I got it faux free. Faux free. So let's see how this one feels. I'm actually really pleasantly surprised so far. This one's about what I thought they would be like. This one is impressive. This one, nah. Is it any better than the ones that I already have? Probably not. It doesn't feel, nah. It feels a little softer. Meh. I haven't used it yet, so I can't review it. It's not as heavy as the CC Cream BB cream brush, so that's immediately less impressive. The shape isn't quite there like it is for that brush. Uh, the handle's longer for some reason. I'm not sure why they... F oh, maybe it's not. It's not longer. Why does it feel longer? Because it's skinnier. That's what it is. It's a thinner brush. 
quick so that you can see. That little bit of a difference makes a big difference in the way that it feels in your hand, and there's a pretty significant difference in weight. Um, this is still kind of coated with that almost rubberized finish plastic. This is still metal, which is nice. Um, not tightly packed. This is a fluffy, definitely a a blush or a powdered highlighter or a trans, maybe not quite translucent powder, but you could probably get away with using this in your translucent powder as well. I don't know. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. Am I going to be raving to anybody about it? Probably not. Okay, so the next one is another Makeup Academy Pro brush. This one was $10. Okay, this is the crease brush. And I got this because I've been looking for a pencil brush. I have crease brushes, but none of them are quite small enough to do the smoked out, defined looks that I'm wanting. I think this could be the one. So this is a synthetic brush, same type of handle. It says crease on the side. That's upside down. It says crease on the side. Makeup Academy Professional. They all seem to do that. The brushes each also have a number. I didn't mention that before. Do the other ones have a number? Yeah, they do. They all have a number. So this is the number 315. Um, and as you can see, this is a smaller fluffy brush. I don't know if you can see. This is smaller. The brush itself is actually smaller, but it's still loosely packed so that it's nice and fluffy to get into the crease. I think I'm going to like this brush a lot, actually. Very exciting. So this, these were also <laughs> I can't talk today. We're also buy one get one free. So this is the point liner brush, and this one was originally ten dollars. I got this one faux free. That's right, faux free. So I have been wanting one of these for a while. I have never tried <laughs> swatches. It's another video. You'll have to watch it. Um. I've been wanting one of these kind of pointy ones for a while now, and I've never bought one, but since they were buy one, get one free, I was like, why not? So we'll see if that makes it any easier to actually, oh, that might make it easier. Okay. Um, feels very soft, very smooth, same type of handle. Again, it says the name on the side and the number on the tip. Um... I like the color scheme of these brushes. I think that they look nice. Like if I had a job, um, I wouldn't be ashamed pulling these out like I would my BH Cosmetics brushes. So there we go. So originally that would have been what? 10, 20, 8, 36, 46, $56 in brushes. I got it for 28 bucks. I think I did that math right. I'm just a hairstylist. Don't judge me. Okay, so the next thing I got, oh, I'm like going crazy with time here, is I originally went to Bear, um, I went to Ulta a couple weeks ago with a good friend of mine. Hi, Micah. And we were looking at the Bare Minerals new serum makeup. Well, I shouldn't say we. She was looking at something else. I was looking at that. And I was also looking at their new, what's it called? The moisturizing something. Basically their version of the tinted moisturizer. And I was kind of comparing those and I was ready to buy them. I was ready to buy the serum, which is kind of like a BB cream, with their version of this brush, except that the center is hollowed out. Ridiculous. So that brush was $28, and that serum slash BB cream was also $28, I believe. Well, I got this brush for essentially $9, because buy one, get one free. It's like I paid 9 bucks for this brush. And then I purchased the Physician Formula Argon Wear Ultra Nourishing Argon Oil BB Cream. 
I really hope that this pans out to be similar to that Bare Minerals $28 BB cream. We're going to find out. Today for this, I got this on sale as well, of course. You know how I roll. Um, this was originally $15.49. All of Physician's Formula items right now at CVS are $5 off, so I got it for $9.49. This is what it looks like out of the packaging. Pretty cute, actually. This is kind of what I would expect from, like, Benefit or something. I got this. There were only two color choices, y'all. I'm really sorry. Anybody with skin darker than me probably ain't going to be able to do with this. We're going to find out, though. I could be totally wrong. This could be way darker than I think it's going to be. So the only color choices they had were light or light medium. That was it. I don't know what's wrong with these brands, why they're doing this to people. There are people much darker than me. Lots of them. Anyway, so I got light medium. So let's see how this looks. Yep. So that's my shade. That's right. I picked the right one. Ooh. It feels very, very moisturizing. Oh, very, very nice. I'm excited to put this on my skin. Yes! Oh, boy. It has a smell. Oh, is it going away? I think it's going away. I think it's going away. Anyway, it's not super strong anyway. It's not, um, it's kind of a clean smell. Anyway, um, it's not bad, but this is a BB cream. It says on here, Glow Renewing Benefits. Evens out, smooths, moisturizes, protects, conditions with 100% pure argon oil. Luxurious high performance formula evens out skin tone, vanishing flaws and imperfections and smoothing skin texture without ever leaving a greasy feel or finish. I will say it went on extremely moisturizing and it's already dry on my hand. That's nice. That's very nice. Weightless multitasking miracle miracle combines the benefits of a moisturizer, foundation, argon oil treatment, and SPF protection in one. So because it has the SPF in here, it's going to be great for daily wear. It's not going to be something that you're going to want to wear where you're going to be getting your picture taken a lot because flash on SPF don't look good. Okay. Ultra Luxe Cream smooths and brightens skin while renewing suppleness, helping maintain the skin's youthful appearance. Glow Renewing Benefits, infused with 100% pure argon oil, known as liquid gold, for its rich conditioning benefits that anyone get can improve skin's brightness, tone, texture, elasticity. This magical ingredient from Morocco transforms skin, smoothing the appearance of fine lines, brightening dull skin, and renewing suppleness, helping to enhance skin's youthful glow. Exotically scented formula instantly delivers a lit from within glow. Hypoallergenic, gluten-free, paraben-free, non-comedogenic, dermatologist approved. Oh, it says shake before use. Okay, so I need to shake it before I use it. Anyway, that's about that. The smell's not going away anymore, but it's not as strong as it was whenever it first came out. I don't think I'm gonna. it's going to bother me to have this on my skin. I'm very excited. Anyway, point was I got this and this for, what was it, 10 plus 10 Nine blah nineteen dollars instead of twenty eight a piece. What? So let's see if it works similarly. We'll find out. I gotta move this along, or this video is gonna be thirty minutes long. Okay, so the next item I got is a brand I've never purchased anything by. I have never, never, never bought anything from NYC. This product was two dollars and eighty seven cents, so it was not on sale because it's already cheap as hail. It's called Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder in the color Sunny. Ooh. The reason I bought this, the only reason I bought this, is because I found a bazillion videos 
talking about oh how cute look it's a sun oh i found like a bazillion videos talking about how this is an exact dupe for benefits hula powder now i have been wanting to buy no no smell okay i'm like the scent police <laughs> i have been wanting to buy the benefit hula powder for probably a year and i've had the money to do it and I've just never broken down and done it. That hula powder is twenty eight dollars. It's ridiculous. So this is less than three. So I thought that I'd give this a shot. Maybe one day I'll buy the hula powder and we can do a swatchy swatchy. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, it's so exciting. I think it is gonna be like the hula powder. Oh my god! Look at that. Oh, so so basically, I wanted a bronzer that was pretty on my skin, not ruddy, not orangey, um, not full of shimmer because I do really, really love shimmery products on my face, but every once in a while, whenever I want to actually, what's the word? What am I looking for here? Contour. Thank you. Um, I don't want to put a shimmery product in my contour because instead of contouring, it makes it go like, hello, look at me. I tried to contour and I failed. So we'll see. So this comes in a nice little compact. It's got a little mirror on the top. It's got the sun stamped in it. If it didn't say NYC on the front, looking at that, I would think that this was physician's formula. Just throwing that out there. Anyway, so $2.87. We'll find out about that. The next thing that I got was by Physicians Formula, and it's called Happy Booster Glow and Mood Boosting Blush. It says, look happy. Brush on a radiant blushing glow. Feel happy. Experience the mood boosting effect infused with our Happy Boost blend featuring happy skin and you for all natural plant extracts which have been shown to promote a feeling of happiness by mimicking the effect of endorphins and helping protect the skin from environmental stress. The sweet scent of violet provides a feeling of joy each time you apply. Hypoallergenic, paraben-free, gluten-free, gluten-free, non-comodogenic, dermatologist approved. Does this have a color? There was only one. This is in the color 7324 Natural. I don't know if there are typically more than one shade of this. At the one, at the CVS that I went to, there was not. Oh, look at how cute it is. It's like metallic-y pink. Oh, it's so pretty. And then on, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, look, let me show you guys what I just found. Okay, so button, open, wait. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, looky there. Oh, looky there. Looky there. It comes with a little brush. I'm never going to use it, but it's cute. Oh, maybe I'll give it to my daughter. She'll like that. Um, okay. Oh, and look, there's a mirror on the... Hello, guys. Hi. Aren't they sassy? So it's got little hearts put in there. This, I was inspired to purchase this because someone said that this was a great dupe. For a Mac. Don't remember what. I know that that's really helpful. I know that someone said that this was a perfect dupe for a Mac um, mineralized blush. And I thought, well, okay, we try it. We see. We see if we like it. So this does have shimmer to it. It is scented, not heavily. Um, this looks more like a very light highlighter than a blush, I will say. Um, they got the name right, natural. It's not heavily shimmery. This is something where if I was running out of the house, I'd throw on some BB cream, some of this on my cheeks, mascara, and run. So this will be good for that. I don't see me using this on an everyday basis, but when I'm doing a natural look or a, at least a less effort look, I would use this. Oh, it also comes with one of these things that no one ever uses. Um, what did I pay for that? I paid, this was originally $12.99. All of the Physician's Formula products, again, are $5 off, so I paid $6.99 for that. Much better. 
All right, so the next thing that I got, I purchased these because I was told, again, that these are like the MAC mineralized powder blushes. I love them, but I refuse to buy MAC, not because of the price. Don't get me wrong. They are expensive, but I would pay it if I liked them. I pay it for lots of other products. But... They test on animals. I don't know if everybody knows that or not, but that's why you won't see me using any MAC products. And if you do, it's because I purchased it before I knew that they tested on animals. And I'm not going to throw the shit away. It's expensive. I'm going to use it till it's gone. All right. So this one is called the Milani Baked Blush in the color Coralina. Does that sound familiar? It should. This is a dupe for the Benefit Coralista powder. Now take a look. Milani. It is baked. Again, it's got the little guy underneath. Mirror on this side. Little bitty brush on this side. Oh, my daughter will be so happy. She gets all these little brushes. And it even looks like Coralista in the package. So, and the names are the similar. Like, this is Coralina. That's Coralista. Basic. Oh, yeah, that is. It's totally Coralista. Look at that. You wouldn't know it. So it's very shimmery. It's very corally, peachy. Um, no scent. Not that I can detect anyway. So this was a really good one. And these were buy one get one for half off regularly eight dollars and twenty nine cents a piece so I paid eight twenty nine for my first one and four dollars and fifteen cents for my second one which I'm gonna go over now this is the Milani baked blush in luminoso okay same deal open it up there's the blush you can see there is a slight shimmer there this one's a lot lighter not as drastic, dramatic. Underneath, you've got the mirror and your little brushy doodle. Could you guys hear that? That was my stomach. I'm hungry. Okay, so here we go. I was told that this looked exactly like, which one was it? Vintage Peach or something? By Mac. Anyway, this is another Mac blush dupe. Afterglow? I can't remember. So this is a little bit more, I'm not going to say matte color because it's not matte. However, this one has way less chunky glitter in it than the Coralina. You see the chunkier glitter? This has more of like a metallic shimmer to it. So very, very pretty. I'm really excited to try all these products. So now that this video is ridiculously long and taken up your entire day, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. That was all that I got. Thank God she's done talking. Okay, so later today I'm also going to be doing a tutorial on... I think I'm just going to do like a natural beachy look because that's a lot of what the products are that I got. And I'm going to try to use as many of these products in it as possible so that we can see what it looks like on the skin. All right, guys, so thank you so much. If you have any questions, as always, um, please feel free to contact me. All my information is in the description box below, as well as all the products here listed in the order of appearance. Hopefully, I'll get that right. And uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much. Have an amazing day.